hi in this video uh, we will see how to create a table control using wizard second we will see how to add a new field in existing table control the third point which will cover like once we create table control for the data get disappear on the screen how to avoid that so at the end of this program we can see the screen like this or table control with multiple selection option okay so let's see how to create a table control in user enter sc38 enter a description uh, program name click on create Here select your type of program as executable program. Click on save. So we are not going to transfer this program. Just click on local object. So first define an internal table which we will be using on the screen. So I will just copy from my existing program. This is the internal table which I am using for the table control. So in this internal table the first field which is mark this mark field is used for the row selection as we can see here in this program we can select the multiple rows okay so for this selection we have used a field here called mark second is your serial number and a description field amount field and a date field so this is a type declaration and internal table gt underscore i type in a work area call screen 100 first save and activate now double click on this screen click yes give a description like table control sample Select the checkbox hold all is call position and without application toolbar can save activate it. Now here click on the flow logic. So by default we can see a PBO and a PI PAI model over there. Just uncomment this model this two save and activate. Now to create a PBO model, just double click on this. We are not going to uh, create a new include, so we will select the existing one. Here we can see default PF status and title comes, but it is comment. So just uncomment it and create a PF status. PF is the team, but the icons which you can see are like save, back, etc. And the title bar is this one. PF1 and give a name as T1 to click PF status double click on this click yes yes expand this function key icon here we uh, will be using first we will use the save button then a back icon exit and cancel so here on the exit just double click on the exit button so we are assigning a function type which function type we are going to assign exit command we will see the use of this in your program self activate it click on back now click on title bar
once we enter title click on all title save activate it click back now as we have defined the function type exit command on this again click on back here we will write a new model model exit now when this model should execute at exit command as we have defined assign the function type exit on this so what system should do when we click on this we will write in this model double click on this so we are just setting up set screen as zero so we are just coming one screen back again go back activate it now come to layout the layout here we can see the different icons first select a box and just drag and drop on the screen so we just design the box a second will select the table control wizard so here is the icon is there table control using wizard select this drag and drop on the screen so we can see a table control wizard appears here just follow the instruction click on continue give a name for the table control let's say tc1 click continue now which internal table you want to use select this radio button as we have defined gt underscore i tab as internal table and the work area we are going to use for this is gt gs underscore i tab click on continue now here select remaining all the fields except this mark ok we will see where to use in next screen click continue now here there is an option like which type of table control we are designing whether it is the output only or input control so we are going to use input control and whether we have line selectability means whether we are providing a line selection option or not so if you are providing line selection option click yes and enter the field name which is to be used for line selection and single multiple we are going to select multiple click continue you can see one more option like is call insert delete select deselect so what are those just have a look over here this is the insert this is select all deselect all and is call position if the data is more then the is call position will automatically come here select all the checkbox here click continue so we are going uh, we are creating all the uh, events like pbo pio sub programs in the same program only so we are using same program only we are not creating any new include program continue and just complete the results so by this way we can see our table control is created set check activate come back again save and activate no okay once we create a table control you can see the screen initially we have created this module okay so once we create a table control this comes down just copy this and paste just below this process before output because once we create a table control by default the table control details come at the top position ok save check and activate now we will just test whether the table control is created or not hmm. so here we can see a table control is created but not what happened initially when we are entering anything on the screen enter this data get disappear so how to avoid this now as we are written exit command set screen 0 once we click on this set screen 0 now come to the screen so here the table control there is a change table control attribute is there this model is there change table control attribute 
double click on this here we need to check if our table is initial if the table is initial just append some initial line in the table control if gt underscore tab is initial player gs underscore attack just append one line initial line to our table control Save, check, and activate. Also, when we uh, once we create uh, once we create a table control using wizard, the auto data declaration comes below the code. So just copy this data declaration part, like this table control and the data declaration, and paste the top level. Because once we are using the wizard, the system automatically declares the data. From the last line, so again we will test our program whether it's working now or not. Okay, so now we can see we can see our table. Uh, data is there it is not getting disappear click on new insert row and enter one more line let's say charger so we can see our data is there on the screen only so now we'll see like we have one two three and four columns what is some days uh, after some days we want to add some new field in the existing table control how to do that just first add that field in our internal table let's say remarks type let's say carry 50 just first declare a new field in the in your uh, internal table again okay, come to the screen go to the screen layout and let's say we want to add that field here so click on this <coughs> dictionary program fields select the work area click on get from program oh, it's not coming here just close it sometime we need to close the program and come again go back and enter sc38 Click on display object list. Now again, click on the layout. Now I can see we can see the new field is here. Just select this row, enter, and paste on the screen okay so this way we have created and added a new field in the existing table control okay now we want to provide a text select a text field click here double click on this let's say give any uh, activate now here we have added a new field on the screen now that field we need to add in the process after input model between the chain and end chain as we can see the earlier four fields are here so we just add a new field here Now again, test the program. 
so we can see the new field is here test okay so by this way we have designed a table control using wizard we have seen how to add a new field in existing table control and also when you create a using wizard the initially the data get disappear on from the screen when you press enter so to avoid that we have seen that part also